Hi 3T, welcome back. Um, so we're going to do part two of our unit of measuring and talking about capacity and using liters. Last day we talked about um, the benchmark of a liter, how much a liter was, and we used the chocolate milk container as a benchmark for us to tell us how much a liter actually is. So if this was full, it would fill one liter of liquid. The capacity of this container is one liter. Can't fit any more than that, okay? So one liter was our benchmark we talked about last time. Today we're gonna to talk about a smaller unit of measurement. We introduced a little bit last day. Today we're gonna to talk about it a little bit more detail. And this is the milliliter. So milli meaning smaller, right? So if I were to use this container, compare it to this container, we know that this is going to have, the liquid in here is going to be less than the liquid that could, this container could hold, obviously, right? So we know that this is gonna be measured in milliliters, not liters. So another way that we can measure liquid, instead of using big measuring cups, would be to use uh, measuring spoons. So you may have these in your kitchen, you use them for baking, uh, for cooking, and I have a variety of sizes here. The largest size I have is our 15 milliliter spoon. This spoon holds 15 milliliters of liquid. That's it, okay? So this container here, I've already done the math, okay? Fills, if I were to take one of these tablespoons, one of these 15 milliliter spoons, and dump it into here, it's almost 15 milliliters. It's about 17 milliliters. So it's a little bit more than a tablespoon of liquid that's in this container. So we could almost, if we were to estimate, we, you know how we round. So we would either round down or we would round up. So in this case, I would say that maybe we would round up just so that we uh, fill it to the brim. So we're at about 20 milliliters in this container, around abouts, okay? Just so that you have a idea in your head, a visualization of how much 20 milliliters is, a small amount, okay? Just a little bit more than a tablespoon in that little container of bubbles, all right? Um, you may also um, have had mom or dad give you some medication and they may use a um, eyedropper or a medicine dropper um, and these droppers are really good because they have small amounts on them as well so this here if this was filled up to this line you can see is 1.25 milliliters so if i just did a little bit less than that we're talking one milliliter of liquid that we would put in there so if i put one milliliter of liquid in there you would see that that's a very small amount all right now, so we can, we can see the small amount to this small amount, all right? This is also something you might use to take medication. It's the same 15 milliliters that this spoon would hold, all right? So you're gonna take one tablespoon if you take this whole um, measuring cup as well. So we talked last day about um, this measuring cup and we talked about how it was half a liter right of liquid that it would hold okay this will this holds half a liter and it tells us that um on our scale here on our um measurements here half a liter okay so if i was estimating and i had to to figure out okay how much liquid would fit into this container Okay. or how much liquid do I think is in a certain container, I would use my benchmark. So I know that if I was figuring out how much liquid is in this container, okay, I probably wouldn't use um, a tablespoon or a 15 milliliter spoon. That would take too long to measure out how much is in here, right? So what I could just do is use my measuring cup and just pour the liquid right in. And I would see if I was estimating how much liquid was inside this container, okay? Now I know if I was estimating 
I may have guessed it to be around 500 milliliters, but I actually poured it into my container here or into my measuring cup. And I know that it is in fact 500 milliliters. Okay. So now you have a benchmark for the 500 milliliter liquid amount, which is about the same size as a butter or margarine container. Okay, so that's 500 milliliters. We have another benchmark here we, we discussed last time. Half a liter was half of this chocolate milk container. This measuring cup holds 500 milliliters. 500 milliliters is half a liter. Okay, so how many liters, if there's 500 milliliters and a half, how many milliliters in a liter? Well, we can double it. Doubling five is 10. So 10 hundred or a thousand milliliters is how many milliliters there are in a liter. Okay. So in this container, there are 1000 milliliters. Okay. In this measuring cup, it could fill up to 500 milliliters. That's half a liter. 500 milliliters is half a liter. Okay. Think of half a hundred is 50. Okay, add a zero, 500, because this is a thousand milliliters. A thousand of these little, remember I showed you, a thousand of these small little tiny millimeters, milliliters here. If I was to drop, I'd have to drop a thousand of those into here to make up a liter. Okay, so I made a little chart here to remember one milliliter okay, would be about the smallest amount that we would talk about in grade three, okay? So one milliliter is the little uh, measuring dropper here that I showed you, the smallest amount. The next kind of bigger one, there's another one in between we'll talk about, 500 milliliter would be the half liter that we talked about in the measuring cup. And then the thousand milliliter, which is in the liter. So if you look at something and I want you to go around your house and look at containers, maybe shampoo bottles or soap bottles or anything that's a liquid base, okay? We'll have right on it how many milliliters and it's a small M and a capital L. That's how we write milliliters because liters are always a capital L. And I want you to look if it's less than a thousand, so 959, 825, any of those amounts are going to be less than a liter. So you can tell mom and dad, um, this container has less than a thousand milliliters or it's less than a liter. There's less than a liter of liquid in this. That's how much this container holds, less than a liter. Okay, there's less than a liter of that liquid inside of it if it's less than a thousand milliliters. And that's what we're talking about today. Anything less than, um, a liter. Okay, so we have some good benchmarks for that now. Another really good benchmark we talked about last day that I haven't talked about yet today is our um, glasses. So last day we talked about our four glasses. Now, if I told you that one liter filled four glasses, okay, so we know that two glasses would be 500 milliliters, right? Because that's half a liter. And then another 500 milliliters, both of them together would be 500 and 500, that's a thousand, okay? But if we separated it, think about your coins, 25, 50, 75, 100, right? This is 250, 500, 750, 1000. So we have a quarter of a liter, half of a liter, three quarters of a liter, a whole liter, so 250 milliliters, 500 milliliters, half, 750 milliliters, 1,000 milliliters, total one liter. So here's a good one. You might have some Listerine in your house this size of a container. It says 500 milliliters right on there. And I'm going to pour this back into my measuring cup. I'm spilling it out here. And take my funnel very carefully and show you that this container, in fact, will hold 500 liter, milliliters of liquid 
in this container. Once it fills up here, I can show you. So if the container was full, very good, it would be 500 milliliters. So this measuring cup was 500 milliliters reported into here. That is a 500 milliliter container of Listerine. Now, water bottles, 500 milliliters, right? You read it right on there, 500 milliliters of water fits into a water bottle. Remember we talked about different containers, even though they're holding the same amounts, the containers might be uh, shaped differently, but they're holding the same amount of liquid.